We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. But in all of my years of public life, I have never profited, never profited from public service. I've earned every cent. And in all of my years of public life, I have never obstructed justice. And I think, too, that I can say that in my years of public life, that I welcome this kind of examination because people have got to know whether or not their president is a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. I've earned everything I've got. As President of the United States, I was present at the first Pan-American Congress in Washington, D.C. That with God help, our two countries shall continue to live side by side in peace and prosperity. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Read my lips. No new taxes. I will keep America moving forward, always forward, for a better America, for an endless, enduring dream and a thousand points of light. This is my mission, and I will complete it. May we profit by the experiences of our brother Republicans across the water and go forward steadily avoiding all wild extremes. And may our ultra-conservatives remember that the rule of the Bourbons brought on the revolution. And may our would-be revolutionaries remember that no Bourbon was ever such a dangerous enemy of the people and of freedom as the professed friend of both Robespierre. There is no danger of a revolution in this country, but there is grave discontent and unrest America's present need is not heroic, but healing. Not nostrums, but normalcy. Not revolution, but restoration. Not agitation, but adjustment. Not surgery, but serenity. Not the dramatic, but the dispassionate. Not experiment, but equipoise. Not submergence in internationality, but sustainment in triumphant nationality. For the first time in the history of our country, a majority of our people believe that the next five years will be worse than the past five years. Two thirds of our people do not even vote. The productivity of American workers is actually dropping. And the willingness of Americans to save for the future has fallen below that of all other people our party can truly feel that we have held the faith that we shall do in the, so in the future is our solemn responsibility of this hour. And the Republican Party has ever been the party of constructive action. It will support the new administration in every measure which will, protect, will promote public welfare. It must and will be vigilant in opposing those which are harmful.
A short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima and destroyed its usefulness to the enemy. That bomb has more power than 20,000 tons of TNT. The Japanese began the war from the air at Pearl Harbor. They have been repaid many fold, and the end is not yet. We assembled here today are issuing a new decree to be heard in every city, in every foreign capital, and in every hall of power. From this day forward, a new vision will govern our land. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. It is the common people of the world that are interested in this business. It's their sisters and mothers and daughters that have to wait, trembling, to hear the news from the battlefield to learn whether their dear ones have bitten the dust. It's the great mass of the plain people that Lincoln loved so well that have to stand the brunt of war. They do not have the glory of coming home with the gold lace and the feathers and all that falls to the leader. The costs of government are all assessed upon the people. This means that the farmer is doomed to provide a certain amount of money out of the sale of his produce, no matter how low the price to pay his taxes. The manufacturer, the professional man, the clerk must do the same from their income. The wage earner, often at a higher rate when compared with his earning, And if our efforts continue, and if our will is strong, and if our hearts are right, and if courage remains our constant companion, then, my fellow Americans, I am confident we shall overcome. America has often made the difference between chaos and community, fear and hope. Now, in a new century, we'll have a remarkable opportunity to shape a future more peaceful than the past. But only if we stand strong against the enemies of peace. Tonight, the United States is doing just that. May God bless and protect the brave men and women who are carrying out this vital mission and their families. The shameful fact that when victory was won, won be it remembered, chiefly by the indomitable spirit and unwedding, unwedding sacrifices of our own incomparable soldiers, we turned our backs upon our associates, refused to bear any responsible part in the administration of peace. In the councils of government, we must gar guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes. We should take nothing for granted. If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power of our democracy, tonight is your answer. They will not go away in days, weeks, or months. But they will go away. They will go away because we, as Americans, have the capacity now, as we've had in the past, to do whatever needs to be done to preserve this last and greatest bastion of freedom. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem.